everyone welcome to another um world of flowers um tutorial this one is a fun little um pot picture with pots of flowers and i am just starting by trying to decide on what color to do for the background i'm looking at the colors we've already done on the page um we've done a blue and a pink and a gray we've done a yellow a red a purple and an orange so we want something different don't want to use green on this page on this square because um we're going to have a lot of green going on in the leaves and things so there are some ones next to this which we can do green for um so um i am thinking maybe another yellow maybe a lemony yellow i think might be the way to go so that's what i'm going to do because our other yellow is quite far away from here we're going to have to duplicate duplicate colors through this page anyway so uh, we will need a few of each so that's fine and it's a nice um color i wouldn't necessarily say this was lemon um but it is pretty so and it will work so just uh as even a layer as you can get in the background and then we can get started with these really pretty flowers and lovely pots. I think I'm going to make the flowers and pots match. I think that is what I would do if they were mine, if I could. Um, I actually don't have matching flowers and flower pots in my house, but um, I have. And um, the pots actually match the rooms better. Well, and it depends on the size of the plants as to which pots they fit in. <laughs> so I have a a geranium which is red, flowers in red, and it's in a white pot. And then I have a arum lily, I think it's called, which is white, and that's in a beige pot, so it doesn't really match, does it? And I have a fern which is in a silver pot, and in my new kitchen, way on the windowsill, I have a um, a cream coloured pot which sort of matches the tablecloth that it's near to um, with a um, Christmas cactus in it which flowers in pink and it actually matches the kitchen quite well because our cabinets are sort of pinky purple we argue over what colour they are um, Heather, I think Deep Heather was the name so we'll just say Deep Heather I think this bit here just looks a little bit lighter I'm just going to go over it a bit now, for some reason, this flower here, I think it should be orange. It just says I'm orange, like a marigold or something. So I'm going to grab the orange lake and start. Now, my plan will be to try and make it darker in the middle, each individual petal, and then lighter to the tip. But that is going to be tricky because they're really small. So just do the best you can. That's all you can do. Or have fun with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying do the best you can. I mean, realistically, I could sit here for ages doing each one. And that would be better than what I'm doing now. So it isn't the best I can. But, yeah, if, keeping the enjoyment level up. <laughs> if I spent an hour on a petal, I think I would tear my hair out. So uh, it's about moving through the picture as well, isn't it? But yeah, the kitchen, news on the kitchen, everyone always wants to know. Um, it is the, what's the date today? It is the 8th of November. And I was supposed to, I was promised a um, plumber in today. But I'm recording videos, which means new plumber. I'm getting, I've now been promised a plumber on Thursday or Friday to, um, change the radiator um the one that was ordered wasn't really suitable it's working it's not keeping us nice and warm but it doesn't really it looks horrible so it's been changed then i have been promised or told that i will have a carpenter in on next wednesday which will be the 16th or hopefully earlier he said and i mm, yeah <laughs> and um, he will box around the radiator pipes 
to make it look neater and there's a whole little list of little tiny snags that he's got to fix doors that don't close properly um a bit of repair on part of the floor um all sorts of just little bits and pieces that need doing sealant here and there and you know just things so he's going to be doing that and then I also then need a decorator out to tidy up because where the radiator's being changed it will need repainting plus I need um, where the boxing's being done around the radiator I need some splashback put on there um, to protect the um, I can't just have it painted I need some, you know, a, a sort of resin or something to match what's all there already. So I need to call back out the company that fitted the splashback. I've just broken the pencil I, sharp, I was sharpening. I'm going to use a different one. Although um, I don't have a sharp one. I don't have another sharpener. Bear with me. Right, I am back with a nice sharp. I use my dowel to uh, sharpen it. My other sharpener was full, which is why it broke. But... Uh, I thought I'd use the dowel and get a nice sharp point. I'm going to try and make these leaves a little bit darker on this side. I'm trying to, I'm going a bit slowly because I don't want to break my pencil again. Um, anyway, yes, so the um, company have got to come out. They'll have to measure and then make the, get their worktop and bring it in and fit it. So that will take probably another week at least so when the um, carpenters have finished then I can book them in and uh, I don't know how quickly they'll be able to come last time they were booked about a month in advance but that doesn't mean I'll need a month it was just booked up by somebody else um, and then I also need a decorator as I think I said so yes once that's all done we might be ready Whew. maybe before Christmas it's getting close it's getting really close right, our pot I want the pot to match the flowers as I said but I thought maybe we'll do a brown pot because um, you know we've got quite we've actually got orange up here you can just see the sort of peachy colour for the background so I don't really want to use that again so I think I'm going to use this sepia oops the main part of the pot and we're going to pop color this pot like we do all pots so a bit darker here and then lighter towards the middle so the pot does match the flower but not exactly it's not the same color and as i was saying you know i was listening to you what pots i had and what colors so it's sort of similar isn't it that although it matches it's not an exact match so to my bathroom pot, my beige one, or my lily, not match at all. But um, I bought them together, I think. I think. I always don't. I, yeah, I did. Because I bought the lily because um, they're supposed to be very good for your bathroom. Apparently certain bathroom products can give off fumes. Not Well, not fumes so much. But um, in like shower gels and things which when they go into the air they're not very healthy so apparently this the um, arum lily is one of the plants that absorbs that and I don't know whether I think it's really true or not how much difference it makes but I think well why not have a nice plant in my bathroom anyway you know I'm going to use the flesh light for this bit it's a sort of peachy colour I would say I mean, my flesh is quite light, certainly not this colour, but anyway, <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? We're all a bit different. There. Now this one, I think, looks to me like it's just leaves, like a clover or something like that. So I'm just going to grab the castle green and just colour in those leaves. They're quite small, so I'm not going to worry about doing anything too fancy. Just gonna fill it in, nice and simple. We'll do something a little bit more. And I had thought, um, while I looked at this a while ago, that this would be a wooden pot. Now I've done brown here. Would we won't do it wooden? It can be any colour. We could do it stripy, but I'm mm, mm, <laughs> not sure. 
Mm, I'm thinking purple. Let's start with the mulberry. And uh, I'm thinking we will have to do it stripy. So let's get going. Let's do mulberry on every other stripe. I'm not very keen on stripey pots, but that's how it's drawn. I'm sure it'll be all right. There we go. And let's do a hmm, let's do a purple with it. It's quite a big contrasty colour. It makes it look quite bright and cheerful, doesn't it? See, my brain tells me this colour isn't purple. It's pink. My brain's weird. <laughs> I'm going to use a lavender for the uh, cross piece. This bit. And we're going to make it a little bit darker here than the centre. I really want to try and make this pot look a bit rounded, but it's very difficult when you put a stripe in to do that. So we'll just do it with this bit instead and just make it a bit lighter in the middle. There we go. Now, this pot, I think these look like tulips. I want to colour them red. Um, what have we got? Yeah, the scarlet red. I think that's a nice one. So let's do this centre a bit. Centra, that's a good word, isn't it? Go around. I've just realised I've got some roses over here and I probably would have done those red. But hey ho. And a bit darker in there. So darker at the top. The same on this one. I can hear some noise outside, it's distracting me. I cannot work out what it is. Some sort of machine. But we live um, nearby, there is a garage, um, It's uh, they do sort of um, car repairs and, well, they sell cars. I'm going to use the juniper green for the these bits, leaves, that's the word. Um, they, um, they sell cars but they also have a sort of servicing centre and I think they do them up ready for sale and so it could be something over there. I'm sort of fading it towards the top. I'm enjoying doing this nice long colouring action. It's fun. And what you do is you press harder at the bottom and then lift your pencil as you go and then you get a lighter bit. It's a bit trickier. On these small bits I'm not going to do it like that. So I'll just go out the lines. I know I do anyway but even more so. Okay. Now we have our pot. Um, I'm just thinking about where to go with the colour of this. Um, I think we'll go with the Viridian. Just vermilion, sorry. Viridian's green, isn't it? Vermilion for the um, circles. I'm going to colour them in really dark and then put a little dot of white on each one to try and make them look like they're sort of shiny jewels. I would ideally make them darker on the edges than the middle to give them a sort of rounded look, but they're too small. If I had a sharper pencil, a, a lot more time, a head really close to the paper and lots of patience, I could probably do it, but no. So the main pot, hmm, we need a colour that's going to look a bit different. I'm thinking, should we do blue? I like to do blue. I'm going to grab, whoops, not that one. Grab the wrong one. I'm going to grab the um, sky blue to do the pot. I think blue and red's are quite fun together. You may not like, I mean, they're obviously quite different colours, but I think it just makes it look more interesting. And I'm going to lighten it towards the middle. I'm going to get better with my colours, I think. My colour cubes arrived yesterday, um, Sarah Rennie Clark. And I also emailed um, the um, Sarah Rennie Clark's team and asked them if I would be allowed to use them for videos, you know, because obviously if I keep do using a colour cube 
um, card. I don't know if you know what they are, but I'll just explain them in a minute. For lots of videos, then you'll get to see them all and you might not feel like you want to buy them because you've seen what they are and you can use mine. Do you know what I mean? But they said I was quite... Um, they were quite happy for me to use them in videos as long as I credited Sarah any Clark which is absolutely fair and of course I would do that anyway so that was good so what the colour cubes are I am picking a colour for my flowers um, <laughs> I'm going to go pink um, I think we'll go rose pink as they're roses um, what the colour cubes are is they are a I'm going hard around the edge, trying to fade it towards the middle. Um, they're a card with a photo on of something. I can't show you one because they're all shrink wrapped up and for Christmas. And then there's a palette taken from that photo with um, with the cut main colours that are used in it. And uh, on the back it shows a more detailed palette with colours um, darker or lighter colours as well and then you can use that to do your pictures now, there's no rules so you could use black and white as well you could just add in another colour if you fancied it you know um, it's uh, it's up to you but what it does do is open your mind a little bit to new colour choices and I have a friend who's actually got them already I'm going to use the hooker's green for the green. I'm going to try and make the leaves a little darker at the base, but it may be too tricky in this little space. I'll try my best. Um, and she, um, we did a buddy colour, and she sent me a photo of one of the one of the um, cards. And we, um, oh, she hasn't finished hers yet, but that's okay. Um, and I coloured from it, and it was really interesting. Um, I'd already ordered my colour cubes, so it's lucky I liked it. <laughs> But I knew I would. And basically, I wouldn't have chosen those colours for that picture at all. She picked the picture and the um, and the card, so uh, it was really good. Um, and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was very it it didn't slow me down. It just opened actually it sped me up a bit because I didn't have to think about what colours to pick. So I just got all the colours out and off I went. Obviously, I had to select which one I was going to use for which bit of the picture but it was a lot quicker than having 150 colours to pick from I basically, I think there were 5 or 6 shades, I can't remember and I picked 3 for each shade so a sort of darker and a lighter version and uh, yeah, it was great fun ok so I think we want I'm wondering about a pink pot, we've got pink here that's a funny noise. I think there's roadworks up at the top road. I think that's what we're, what's going on. Aubergine. Now I'm going to make this colour this pot as if it hasn't got a pattern on it because I'm not really sure what to do with this. Is it? A, oh, it's pouring with rain all of a sudden. Um. You know, is it um, is it tartan <laughs> or what? I don't know. So I'm just going to pretend it's not there. Pretend it's like a little dip in the pot rather than a pattern, a different colour bit. So I'm trying to go darker on the edges and then fade a bit towards the middle and then a bit underneath with a faded so that is a strange noise. I don't know if you can hear it. Now, I remember I said I was going to do some little white dots on the uh, pot. I'm going to do that now. I wanted to leave it to the end because um, I knew I would run my hand through it. So I've got my white Posca. I'm using this one because my other white pen, I think it's run out. So what I need to do is go and get a new one. There we go. So just a few dots. It's really simple. It's nothing nothing um, too, too difficult. You could dot on the flowers as well and the other pots if you want to, but I'm only going to do it there because that's all I planned on doing. But there we go. Let me just hold the page straight so you can have a look. So that is the end. I, I like that one. Very pretty. 
um, colours in the end, she says modestly. I think the yellow really helps it pop off the page, so that's rather nice. Um, so there we go. So thank you for watching. Please um, consider liking and subscribing. It all helps the channel and it's um, really kind of you if you do. So thank you. And for all of those of you that already do, I really appreciate it. So I hope you have a lovely day full of flowers and colour and happy colouring.